Following on from the previous video, we, uh, we worked out Taylor's series generated by this function 1 over x at a equals 2. Um, in this video, we're going to find the integral convergence for which Taylor series will converge to 1 over x. So what that means is your, your graph 1 over x looks like this. Um, so we would try and approximate it by, by using Taylor series. So it looks something like this. And then we are trying to find the, uh, so in this video, we're going to, we are going to try and find the, the interval of convergence where, where Taylor series will converge to 1 over x. So, so within this region here, within this interval, uh, Taylor series will map on top of 1 over x as, uh, as n, as, as you head towards, so here you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on, all the way to infinity. As you head towards infinity, you, you can be sure, well, we are trying to, we are trying to find the interval here uh, in such a way that as, as you head towards infinity, um, Taylor series will map on top of 1 over x. Beyond this, it, anything could happen. It could diverge. But we, we, are, we are trying to um, define this interval for which Taylor series will map that on top of 1 over x. Okay, so, so we got to this stage in the previous video. From here, you can, you can always translate it to, um, to this. So uh, if, if you look at this here, this is actually a geometric series. So remember, when it comes to a geometric series, um, the, the geometric series will converge to this if the modulus of r is strictly less than 1. If, if the common ratio is less than 1, we know, we know this is going to converge. So we know this is going to converge if, if the common ratio is, uh, is less than 1. But, but the thing is, now we need to extract... We, we, we need to extract, looking at this, we need to extract A and R. Well, we don't need A, we just need to, to find this R. Because in order for, for it to converge, in order for it to converge, we require the, the common ratio to be strictly less than 1. So somehow, within here somewhere, is R buried in there somewhere. So we need to extract that R. So, uh, so to do this, um, to do this, if you look at this, uh, let, let's just look at this random block here. Um, so, so lo 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 looking at this, uh, so your first term here is is a. So this, so it seems like this must be well. It seems like a equals a half. Looking at this, it seems like a. It seems like a equals equals a half. Now, if you look at this, it, let's just look at this block here. Um, you can rewrite this as one over. Re remember, it is um, it is a. A gets multiplied each time. So if you um, if you visualize this block as if you visualize this block as uh, one over uh, hang on if you visualize it as as this uh, x minus two squared and then two to the power of two you can break it up so this is your a here and then this is your your common ratio here almost your common ratio well hang on so so we need to we need to um, to ex looking at this we need to extract our a common ratio. So, so to do that, hang on. So, looking at looking at looking at this, we need to extract our R. So, uh, so if you if you look at this here, let's break it up like this. Uh, lo looking at this, it seems like this is our A here. It seems this is our A here, and we, we need to we need to have this A each, each step of the way. So that's why when you when you look at this here, we need to rewrite it as one over two times. Uh, times x minus two squared, and then break this up as um, as uh, as as a two times a two squared. So uh, so looking at this now, you can actually break it up like this. You can um, well looking at this now, you can break it up like this. Hang on. Looking at this, um, bear with me. Uh, looking at looking at this. Hang on, bear with me. So looking at this now, we can break it up as as this, because um, because we, we know we know a uh, is going to be a half. So um, so looking at this looking at this block here, let's break it up as as uh, let's break it up as two to the power of n. Let's break it up like this. Well, it could it, it would be two to the power of n times two, and then uh, and then over here you can break it up like this um, minus one. The power of n, and then you've got x minus two n over uh, over uh, over one. 
Uh, and and then and then this is your 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 first a here. This is your first a here. So you you can break this up as this a half times um, uh, m mark. Well, hang on, bear with me. It's hard to write and talk at the same time. Uh, so you can break this up as uh, as two to the power of n. So this whole thing here, you can uh, you can rewrite it as as this. So it seems like this is your a here. So that's your a here. And and if you look at this here, we we want it so that um, so here, here you've got square. So here you've got squared uh, and then cubed and then and then you keep on increasing each time. So if you look at this here, n n n n is in common with all three. One two three. So you can rewrite this as uh, one as a half times. Well, n is in common with all three, so you can rewrite as this. Uh, this and then uh, minus two here over two all the way to the power of n because n is in common n is in common n is in common n is in common you can rewrite it as this whole thing here so the point is you can uh, you can rewrite this as this and then from from here and then from from here you can rewrite well from here n is in common n is in common n is in common you can just write the whole lot to the power of n and then this uh, this one this negative one here you uh, well it's negative one times this you can you can just consider as being a negative a negative this thing here and then from here from here you can see that um, from here you can see that this is our a here this is our a and this is our common ratio this is a common ratio to the power of n to the power of n so now we can extract our r this is our r here now for 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 our series to converge we require the modulus of r to be less than 1 so we so we require this thing here so for convergence we require this thing here to be less than to be strictly less than 1 so uh, so so remember this is a so looking at this, sorry, hang on. Looking at this, the a is a half, and this here is a r here. Okay. So for convergence, we require we require this to be strictly less than one. So we require this whole thing here, the modulus of this whole thing here, to be strictly less than one. Well, when you take the modulus of a negative, you can ignore the negative. So this thing here becomes this, and then uh, from here you can translate it to this. And then times everything by two, so that would then give you this. And then add two to both sides. Uh, add two to er everywhere. That would then give you. That would then give you this. So what that means is, as you as you um, as you head head towards infinity, as as you head towards infinity, um, the radius of convergence would be would be this. Would be uh, strictly less than zero, and strictly less than four. So, uh, so our Taylor series will definitely map exactly on top of one over x between this between this region here in, in, in this interval here in, in this interval here. This the Taylor series will map on top of this. So don't use a Taylor series for anything beyond this. Anything beyond this. Anything beyond this. Don't don't use Taylor series. Only use Taylor series for for uh, for this interval here for from uh, greater than zero, less than four, okay?